Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And you know how one thing leads to another and you don't exactly expect to end up somewhere? Well, as you can see, that's kind of what happened to me today. Um, I had actually gone ahead and ordered what I used as my base today, which is the Salt New York, the Sneaky Bomb. And um, realized that it came in a pan and that I would have to put it into a Z palette, right? And I only have one Z palette, and this is my Z palette. It has flamingos on it. And uh, once I opened up the Z palette, which I hadn't been in for a while, I realized that I had a couple of shades. This one is Insane. And then this one is, uh, let's see, Good God, G-A-D. WD. And um, so I realized that I had both of these uh, colors from JD Glow that I hadn't really used before. So I started thinking about <clears throat> that. And speaking of, I've had a cold and so I've been sitting around watching TV and then all of a sudden it started being like, oh, I could do a vintage sci-fi look with what I have. And then well, this kind of, <clears throat> this got involved. And, um, you know, I, this is kind of intimidating. Don't keep this palette out anywhere you might go at night because I would be kind of scared to run into this dude at night. Um, but this is the Avatar collection from NYX. And I had um, gotten this. It was the first thing I got in 2023. And it says water connects all things. And I thought, oh, yeah, that had um, some beautiful colors in it. So I thought, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, do a sci-fi look with that. And then I can go ahead and um, add in these fun colors that I have in this palette. So that's kind of where this all went. And yes, I've been sick and I've been watching sci-fi and you know how that goes and yeah so um that's sort of the explanation of the look and as far as what the look is I actually went ahead and started with the Sun Touchables by Elf and this is the Woe Glow and Sunbeam and I added the Hello Good Stuff by Essence so uh, that's the glow lotion with the niacinamide in there as far as bronzer, went ahead and did the Heat Wave, and this is the Sunrise Color by Flower Beauty. Went ahead and did that. Um, then we started talking about blush, and I used Empower by LYS, which is this blush. So that's what I used as far as um, the main blush. I did go ahead and mix it with Night Bloom from uh, ColourPop, which is this one. So this is the cream and this is the powder as far as the blush goes there. And then at that point, I got to add in some of the fun sci-fi stuff. Well, actually, first I started with the Undone palette. This is the Nonser palette, which is their highlighter palette. And I started with this highlighter down here on the cheeks. And then I went ahead and went to Kaleidos and I added in some Star Surfer, which is a really pretty, just a pretty, pretty uh, pink, yeah, pink highlighter. So, yeah, that's how that one worked. And then just to be extra special, I went ahead and added in another Kaleidos um, highlighter, which is Comet Catcher. And this one is, um, well, it's still a pink, but it's not necessarily the same intensity. Yeah, it's a little bit lighter kind of pink. So I went ahead and added uh, both of these highlighters in. And as far as going ahead and doing the eye look, went ahead and started with the Avatar, Avatar palette by NYX. I uh, use this one in the crease and right above the crease and that's a dark sparkly blue. And um, then as far as um, uh, again right in the crease I went ahead and used this periwinkle blue. 
went ahead and put this right on the inner corner of the eye, put the green right in the middle of the lid, put a little bit of the sparkly on top of the green. So this is what's in the middle of the lid. And then I went ahead and did this purple on the outside of the um, eye. So uh, that was those. I added in some of these or some of this as far as going ahead and getting a topper sparkle. So I definitely did that on top of this color on the inner corner and also on top of this cor a color as well. And it gives it some of the sparkle. And then I went ahead and added in these colors from JD Glow. I did this color right here, which is definitely a duochrome. It shifts blue here. So it starts purple and then it shifts blue. And I did that right under the brow. And then this one I did right on the inner corner. And I think it has a shift, but I think it's more of a silver to purple kind of shift on this one. Um, so that's kind of what I did with the eye look. I also added in two of the color pencils from Imride, E-M-I-R-D-E. And so these are, um, I actually have both of these all over and then I did a sort of a wing with them. So as far as the way that the eye look came out, that's kind of the way that that came out. And I went ahead and added in, well, let's see, as uh, the next Thicket Stick It, um, Light Ash Brown, and then I added the Brow Glue by NYX as well. So I went ahead and used both of these on the brows to go ahead and get the look there. And I did go ahead and add That's Complicated by Oma. And excuse me for just a second. Like I said, I do have a cold, and all this has been, well, interesting <laughs> trying to do this with a cold. I, I literally had to stop myself from sneezing a couple of times. But I did go ahead and use these two. So this is the um, It's Complicated by Oma, and um, this is one that you can get in Walmart. And uh, this one is the NYX Cosmic Metals. And I think I'll go ahead and add a little bit more of that on. But it's just really called for a really sci-fi look just because I've been sitting around for so long being ill, trying to get over being ill. And yeah, it's been one of those. And uh yeah, still trying to breathe. And yeah, it is COVID and yes, I am getting over it. So, um, and it's been a really rough time here. But uh, this really got my spirits up. So I decided to film it and show you what I had done. And um, so I did the Essence Volume Stylus and the Sky High. Went ahead and mixed both those together as far as the eyelet goes. And um, the Catrice powder is what I used as a finishing powder. It's a pink powder um, to go ahead and give it a little bit of glow. And the Glisten Up by Fourth Ray, again, to give it a little bit more glow. And so that's kind of where it ended up. And uh, yeah, pulled the hair back. So yeah, it didn't look like too busy or anything. But anyway, like I said, I'm really enjoying my very sci-fi kind of look today. And yes, it's very busy and it's very all over the place. But, you know, once in a while, it's kind of fun. So uh, that's a video and I hope that you enjoyed it and have a great day. Bye. <laughs> So then I went ahead and took the look down a little bit so that I could go ahead and wear it out. Because I didn't want to take it off. I mean, you spend some time doing a look and you want to go ahead and wear it, right? So um, this is what I took it down to. And so that's kind of, um, I went ahead and 
got rid of some of the top parts so that it was a little bit more human, a little less woo, -woo. And uh, so this is the Easter egg with the look a little bit toned down. So uh, thank you and have a good day. Bye.